I'm going to help you get started with the Dalton's Playhouse activity. Go to the website that's indicated at the top of the paper and then type in your name down in the bottom corner here. Click enter and as you work through the activity you'll see these uh, instruction boxes. You can easily hide them by clicking hide and if you want them to come back again click the plus. And you're going to enter the laboratory and there are four different modules to work through and you're going to work through them in order. The first one uh, involves a chemical reaction and in this module and in all the other modules you're going to take measurements of volume and mass both before and after the chemical reactions happen. The scale tool will allow you to get the mass and the volume tool will allow you to get the volume and they're located up here. So before the reaction I can take the scale tool down, drag it over to the calcs that we're going, we're going to heat up and it says there's a hundred grams of calcs there. I can drag that back and I can take the volume. Actually you can't get the volume of the solid. It'll just say zero but it's useful to try it anyway. And then heat the calcs and you can see over here that the red calx is turning into a grayish powder and at the same time there is a gas produced. The gas was collected up in here uh, much the same way that we collected the gas in the battery uh, the battery demo we did the other day and then we can now collect the mass and the volume of the uh, substances after the reaction. So I can grab the mass tool I can get the mass of the gas by just placing it over where the gas is and I can collect the mass of the substance that was left over after burning and then I can also come down here and collect the volume of the gas that was produced and since it's a solid I can't quite get the, the volume here but that's okay. And then you'll repeat for the 200 gram and the 216.5 gram uh, trials. And then when you're done you can go through and then go to the next module and again you're presented with the same tools. You've got the volume tool and the mass tool and again here there's three different trials for you to do. Be sure to get the volume of the gases before burning and the mass of the gases before burning and then burn them and notice that the oxygen has decreased the other gas has decreased and we're getting a product gas over here so you can collect the volumes of all the gases after the reaction and the masses of all the gases after the reaction and do the same thing for the other two trials. The third one about diamond. Again very similar. There's some diamond here. I'm going to burn different amounts of diamond and different amounts of charcoal. But before you burn make sure you get uh, measurements for how much of gases you have beforehand. So the, can't get the volume for the solid diamond but and there is no gas produced just yet but before we started with 0.74 liters of oxygen and also make sure you get the mass so I can get the mass of the diamond here's 0.2 there's no product here yet so that's going to be zero and then in the end here there's uh, 1.06 grams of oxygen to uh, to start with burn the substance so this is pretty cool. They're using a uh, magnifying glass to focus light rays to burn the diamond that was there. And you see what winds up happening. The amount of oxygen has decreased. The uh, other gas that's produced has increased. And I can come around and collect the volumes of the gases that were produced and the masses of the gases as well. And then you can repeat that for the other three trials. And then there's questions to answer in the fourth module about concepts based on what happened in the other, uh, the other three experiments. It also answers the questions on the activity sheet. Thanks. I'll see you guys. Um, have a good weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday.